And now to an occupation in North Portland that's captured the nation's attention. Within the hour, city leaders responded to protesters spending a fourth day at the home known as the Red House. The mayor's office saying, quote, we will not let an armed occupation stand in the city of Portland. Let's get right out to Fox 12's John Hendricks in North Portland. And John, how do things look at this hour? Well, Pete and Camilla, we spoke with a community organizer earlier today who says he's working to get an end to all of this. He says he's acting as a mediator to speak between those here and City Hall. I'll give you a look tonight at the encampment where tents have been set up and cars also block the street. In Portland's rain today, a stalemate continues into a fourth night. Uh, there's a lot of work that has to be done. Occupiers of this encampment along Mississippi not budging. It's been this way for four days. Roadblocks and tents surrounding the so-called Red House on Mississippi. Livability in Portland is one of the biggest things that, uh, that everyone deserves. It's a right. Um, public safety is a right, and this is not it. Gabriel Johnson is with the Coalition to Save Portland. He says he stepped in to try to be a mediator between both sides. This isn't livable. Um, we've got... Uh, neighbors that have reached out to the police, that have reached out to a, a number of organizations that um, uh, ha are in contact with us. They're trapped in their homes. They don't feel like they're able to leave. Today, the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office put out a timeline of what led up to the latest eviction on Monday. It released these photos showing the home on December 8th. The Sheriff's Office says deputies found the home to be heavily fortified from the inside and found a number of firearms on the property. Six people were arrested. During that eviction, Mike Reese, the sheriff, says that they had lined up local services and resources to help those at the home. The Oregonian is reporting the developer who currently owns the Red House says he'd sell the home back. Fox 12 has reached out to the developer to verify that information, but has not heard back. Portland's a special place, and it needs to be returned. For Johnson, the hope this will all come to an end soon. But for now, this stalemate continues. Now, as you mentioned, Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle put out a lengthy statement this afternoon basically saying this is a complex situation. They're working behind the scenes to find a peaceful resolution, saying, quote, we are concerned about the threats that have been made to some of the parties involved. We ask the public to please be patient and refrain from taking personal action while we do everything possible to come to a resolution. Lavelle said that he wants the barricades to come down so emergency services can get through if they are needed by folks who live in that area. Now, we did talk to a business owner off camera worried about retaliation if they speak publicly. They are worried in all of this that if it doesn't come to an end soon, they may lose their business. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox Oregon.